The controversial star rating system for food will appear on supermarket shelves for the first time this week. A Sydney business is the first manufacturer to put stars on the labels of its muesli packets sold in supermarkets across Australia and also exporting to Asia. But the website explaining the system to consumers remains down after it was pulled by the Assistant Health Minister Fiona Nash in February. Here's Consumer Affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Husband and wife team Kim and Trevor Lawman have been making muesli for 21 years. They're taking the bold step of introducing a five-star rating on the label of their products. When you're making food, there's only fat, salt or sugar. So they're the only things you've got to work with. And the Health Star rating really um, pointed out the benefits of our product. Monster health food company Muesli rates between three and a half and five stars, a score that's derived from an algorithm assessing nutrient content. It's costing a few thousand dollars for the company to change its labels. Trevor Lawman says it's worth it. The consumer needs something they can quickly make a decision on and compare product to product. These are the stars that have been the source of much angst. In a bid to fight obesity and give consumers clear information, the rating system took two years to broker between governments, health health and consumer groups and the food industry. But amid concerns about the cost to industry, a website explaining the system was pulled by the Assistant Health Minister Fiona Nash in February and her Chief of Staff resigned after concerns about a conflict of interest. And although Trevor Lawman is a champion of the system, he says it's unfortunate that only a three and a half star rating is given to his gluten-free muesli. Does there need to be more adjustments to the calculator to suit that area of the market? Oh, there's certainly an argument can be made for that because one of the, the, the goodies, if you will, of the things that is fibre, and clearly if you're a celiac and you have issues with uh, intestinal issues, then fibre is not necessarily something you want to push into your body. But I think also people, as things go along, people will understand what it all means. The success of the star rating system will depend on whether it's broadly adopted and consumer groups say they're confident other companies will soon follow suit. If a local Australian company can do this, then there's really no excuse for the big multinationals not to step up. The ABC contacted companies including Kellogg's and Sanitarium, but they declined to comment on the issue of food labelling and whether they would implement it. The Australian Food and Grocery Council has repeatedly raised concerns about the cost to industry, which it puts at more than $200 million. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.